Hello there, Eric here, and uh, I'm in my mixed reality lab, and I'm going to play around with a program called Tilt Brush. It's a um, painting and sculpting tool inside of VR. I'm inside of my VR space. I'm in the stars, and I'm standing next to the moon. And what I'm going to do now is talk about one of my favorite things. Uh, and that's um, space travel. <laughs> and we have the moon here. It's a pretty good representation of the moon. I think if you looked down on the corner of the screen, you could see what I'm looking at here. Like maybe there's a sea of tranquility around here somewhere. And <clears throat> with this tool, I could kind of demonstrate how something like Apollo 11 approached the moon and it had to launch from a rock on Earth, do a couple orbits, break out, reconnect the lander with the orbiter, and it started to make it uh, make its approach towards the moon. And when the moon, when they got to the moon and when they left the moon, it was in a different position, so they it's a different trajectory again as well. So maybe they were coming in like this, right? They did one orbit, starting to catch around. They're coming around somewhere over here. And they've been caught in the moon's orbit. And at this stage, they're kind of in orbit. They go around one more time. Somewhere around here, they separate the lander with the orbiter. Right. Let's represent that by some fire here. All right. And at that stage, we have two things separated. We have the lander, which now is going to slow down and let Earth, the Moon's gravity, start to pull it in, and it start comes down and lands somewhere down here, and the orbiter splits off from that and continues orbiting the moon. <clears throat> now, I got down there and said those great words, you know, a small step for man. I was sleep for mankind, but when they had to get it back out of orbit, they had to launch from the launch site. And they kind of went around again, back around, and again, they're orbiting again, and they link up with the, and dock with the orbiter, somewhere around there, I suppose. <laughs> it's on fire. And maybe one more spin around. And then they were back heading towards Earth. Let's see how that looks from the other side here. Right. <laughs> great tool to start you know kind of seeing things in 3d space you can know there's a bunch of tools that can go along with this i'm just going to erase this for now and we could pop into a different environment all right i'm going to step back just a little bit here <clears throat> as this is a sculpting software. This is now my pedestal and I can start to sculpt tools on it. Uh, 
And let's say I wanted to talk about something like a fourth dimension, right? Um, I got some shadows here. Actually, kind of works actually. So we have one dimension, two dimensions. Three dimensions. I'm sorry, that's two dimensions, right? <clears throat> Let's add a third dimension. Right? <clears throat> and you can start to see down there on the shadow that might start to look like in a 2D space, right? So if you were in famous Carl Sagan's reiterated version of Flatland, right? These flat creatures don't be able to sense the third dimension, right? So all their experience is the shadow on the wall of the three dimensions. So just like that would be, this would, the what we see down there was the shadow cast in two dimensions from three you can start to think about what the shadow would look like from four dimensions down into one. And that looks like a text tesseract. Let's see if I can draw a tesseract. <laughs> this is going to be kind of weird doing it by hand. Let's see if I can make this work. And there we go. Maybe we gotta go make one more a couple more there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's see how that looks from a different angle. my text rec. Let me see if I can just play around with this and see if I can highlight some things in it. Two dimensions with the bright and yellow. Highlight this. Three dimensions. And then the fourth dimension is intersecting 45 degree angles from each corner. <clears throat> and we can do some cool things like color it in to give it some some look. <laughs> Let's take a picture of it, shall we? The thumbnail. Let's take a selfie. Mm, not a GIF. And there we go. All right, stop it right there. That's the tool called <clears throat> Tilt Brush in my Mixed Reality Studio. We'll see you next time. Hey guys.